my friends, happy Tuesday. So I had a great meeting this morning by I'm Here Forever. It was amazing. So now I'm heading back off to Northamptonshire because I'm filming Primark videos this week because next week is Primark week on my channel. It's very exciting. So I've just kind of tied everything up. Yes, the bed's in a different place. I filmed with Imogen yesterday, so we kind of moved things around a little bit so we could film here and that's there. So it's kind of just stayed there. But we had like this background. It looks really cute. So I'm just wearing this today. I've got the skirt on from Zara Kids and I'm heading back off to Northamptonshire. I've got a, like, a really heavy case back. So I will speak to you when I am home. So let's go. And I'm home. I've got three three of these uh, Royal Mail Mist parcels and then I've got another one and then I've got four DHL was it? I need, I need to be sure that's UPS. What's the other one? What's the yellow, other yellow one? DHL isn't it? Yeah DPD is a red one. So I need to go and sort them. I was like that's a good place to start and then I'm gonna go grab some food from the supermarket as well. So my father also kindly picked me up from the station which was amazing which meant I got to hang out with him for 10 minutes as he drove me back to their house and I picked my car up because obviously I left it there for Disney and yeah it meant I didn't have to pay for a cab which thanks dad. Thank you. That helps. Taxis in my town are ridiculously expensive. Like, they're more expensive than Ubers in London. Like, that is, it's crazy. All the parcels have been picked up, which is a relief. There's quite a lot. I'll do a little unboxing when I get home. But I'm now at B&M because I need to go and buy all the cleaning products ready for my move next week. Do I move next week? I'm moving the 27th. Do I, I think it's next week. But anyway, I need cleaning products because... I need to clean my old place, I need to clean my new place and there's no like shops in London like B&M and stuff like that to get things so it's just easier to get it here and take it with me. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go into Aldi and get some food. I'm very ready for this. Hello, so it's been a while, I've been cleaning, boringly. So I thought I would show you what I picked up when I went to town earlier, I went to grab some bits because obviously I'm moving soon so I needed to get like cleaning things, things like that and I thought I'd show you my post. So firstly, I've got these from TK Maxx. Now, yes, I'm more than aware that they're the tackiest things in the whole entire world. However, they will be perfect for my Christmas background uh, for, like, my YouTube videos. So I picked them up. They're $12.99 each, and they're gold. And then it's a bit weird because these are, like, rose gold, but this bit's gold. These feel like they're going to break. But, yeah, I got them. Please ignore my dishwasher in the background. Also got packaged from It Cosmetics. Basically, they have a new Instagram and it just says, hey, it Cosmetics UK Island Instagram just launched. Ooh, this is from Elizabeth Arden. I love the Elizabeth Arden team. Paula and Lavana are my favorite people. So this is the new Juicy Couture Wee fragrance. And we didn't actually get it after the event. I didn't get a goodie bag. So I'm very happy to have this in my collection. I'm gonna open this up right now because Juicy Couture fragrances are my favorite. Something that I guess a lot of you wouldn't really expect, but I love my juicy fragrances. I love my juicy tracksuits. Yes, that is just me. The packaging of this is stunning. This is a really cool fragrance. I also got some bits in from Glam Glow. I think this is the cutest presentation. Again, Glam Glow slay the press packages. This is a Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. And along with their Water Burst Moisturizer, this is amazing. I love this. I know so many people love this. What's this? A Tropical... <laughs> Tropical cleanse, but it's one word. Exfoliating daily cleanser. I feel like this is gonna smell phenomenal, so we're gonna open it. Wow, this packaging is so cool. Glam Glow, this is just so pleasing to the eye. I really like this. Let's smell it. Oh, let's smell it. Oh, it's got like exfoliating beads in there. Okay, so it is a tropical scent, but it's still got that kind of earthy, muddy scent. I really like that. Oh, I'm excited to try that. So, let me show you what I got in town. It's, it's not that interesting, but I mean, I know for some of you, you'll find this really interesting, so we're gonna go for it anyway. So, firstly, I went, well, no, it's not first. Firstly, I went to, wait, where did I go first? Yeah, I went to B&M first. We'll do B&M first. So, I got a ton of cleaning products. Sorry if you find this boring, feel free to skip the next minute or so. But I got some sponges. I got some microfiber cloths. I got some lavender Sephora because I use this in my bathroom in like where my bedroom is because I like the scent of lavender to be coming out of my ensuite into my bedroom. So I think it's quite calming. Got some winter spice Sephora. I also got some um, the bouquet one, but that's in the cupboard. I got some cleaner for my hob. What's this actually called? It's just a cream cleaner for my hob. I got some lavender uh, Febreze fabric spray. I just spray this onto my bed. It's really good. It smells like lavender which I love because, like I said, I find it really relaxing. I feel like lavender is just like the nicest scent to fall asleep to. So I got that from B&M and then I went to Wilco's 
and I also went to TK Maxx. So for Wilco's I got just some kind of scour pads. I got again some more bath sponges, these are slightly larger. I got some of these kind of sponges, I like just using these for like washing up. What are they called? They're called sponge wipes. I got some sponge wipes. I feel like no one calls them sponge wipes. I got some, oh, linen Zaflora as well, linen fresh. I got some window cleaner, <laughs> so boring, why am I showing you this? I got a power mesh sponge, got this because it's pink, can you see? That's the only reason. Also from Wilco, I got some like baking tray things. These are cool for putting pasta in. If you want to like, put like cheese on your pasta and put it in the oven and you don't want to use like a dish you have to wash, <laughs> really, if we're being honest. I got some bin bags. So all of this, like I said, is appropriate for moving. So I got some like sticky back pads to hang my command strips up on so I can like reuse them. I got some cups for my moving in party. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead, you've got to be prepared for the moving in party. I got some pads on the bottom of some like my chairs because I don't want to scratch the floor. I got some toothpaste, I got some nail some nail clippers from oh gosh, from TK Maxx. I got oh this is like shoe polish because I I don't own any shoe polish, which is really weird. I got some disinfectant wipes, some more toothpaste, and then from oh I got some so this is like sticky back kind of plastic style. I don't know what they call it. This is what I covered like my, the glass on my table, like my, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, like the, the table I've got in my lounge. What's it called? It's like a side table, a side table. It was glass and then I covered it in this and it's now marble. They're really, it's really cool, it's really useful. And then I also got these from TK Maxx because my theme this Christmas is not going to be red, it's going to be pink, silver and green and gold. Mm, maybe pink, gold or green then. As long as it's pink and green, I'm good. So, thought these are really cute. They're like $4.99. So I just thought I'd grab them whilst I see them because I know they will disappear. So yeah, that is everything, everything I got in town. Good morning, you guys. Happy th Thursday. Okay, gosh, that's a problem. Uh, today is, is Thursday, apparently. I didn't film yesterday. I had the most productive day yesterday, but I was literally just filming, editing, uploading, doing emails, doing all things that like, like I literally did nothing interesting. I was on my laptop all day. So... Instead of boring you with the updates, thought we'd just start fresh today. This morning I'm off to go and do the school run, so I'm very excited to see my little mush. And then, yeah, I have a I have a busy day, another day of filming, editing, uploading, but hopefully some more interesting bits for you today. This is the hair we have. It's just the leftover kind of curls from uh, Dutch braids. I have a slouchy shirt on from Pull and Bear. I then have my Jack Wills coat. Uh, it's the over Chelsea overcoat, I believe it's called. I have my mulberry bag, which I actually got when I went to Dubai. I got it from Heathrow T3. I've got my Forever 21 corduroy skirt on, and then I've got my docks. I will link as much of it as I can down below, but yeah, this is the outfit of the day. I'm probably going to be freezing. Oh, and I'm wearing Giorgio Armani C fragrance. If you're wondering, you probably weren't. <laughs> I feel like I spend my life running around different places picking up parcels, and today is no different, so let's go and see what delivery we missed today we have a casualty just trying to work out if it's the screen protector or my actual screen i really hope it's not my actual screen i'm gonna be really sad should we see what the parcel was oh a stocking cute what's in the stocking i feel something in the stocking i shouldn't put my hand in something without looking what's in there <gasps> face masks <gasps> decorations and then we have some fairy lights like string lights and then we have some little decorations so, uh, yeah, I'm working on some stuff with Garnier for Christmas. You know, I love their face masks. I talk about them. I swear, in every vlog, uh, every vlog I put face masks on, like, it's Garnier fresh tissue mask. <laughs> like, they're all I use now. I uh, feature them in a morning routine, which is an amazing collaboration for me because, like, it's just so special when you love a product and the brand comes to you. Like, it's exciting when a brand comes to you. It's like, hey, what do you think to this? You try it and you love it. But it's even more exciting when you try it, you love it. And they're like, hey, let's do something. Like, that's cool. So, yeah, that was a fun collaboration. I'm excited to still be working with them, but yeah, I'm gonna go meet my mom. My mom and I are planning a video this morning. Uh, so many of you have asked me to talk about my contraception story, and there's a lot that I haven't spoken about with people. I don't know if I'll go into that in the video, but maybe we just stick it to the different types of contraception I've tried, because I've tried pretty much them. I think I've tried everything except the implant and the patch. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. So, 
yeah, I've tried like 12 pills. It's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to tell my story because I know a lot of people struggle with contraception and finding something that suits because I didn't find something that suited until January of this year. So I was 20 and I, I was put on contraception for heavy periods when I was 13. So it took me seven years. Seven years of hell. I'll explain in the video. You will see. But I'm going to go back to my mom's now. Hello. So I went to film video and then I realised this room is so echoey. Can you hear it? Not going to film with that. That's so annoying. So I got back from mum's. We filmed the video, which was, it was very telling. Like, if you haven't seen my video on my DNA, then check that out. But I am off to go and depop a bunch of stuff. I had another wardrobe clear out. I don't even know. Like, I thought I was brutal last time. And then I went through it and I was like, Emily, like, you're never going to wear this stuff. Like, it's all things I've had for, like, four years. I'm, like, keeping just in case. And it's like... No, <laughs> so I'm gonna go and pop them all on Depop right now. That is the plan. Good morning, you guys. A happy Saturday. Today I have my Depop parcel to send off. I have two videos to film, one video to edit, and I have to end up in London in the evening. I fell asleep at seven o'clock last night and woke up at half past eight this morning. That's how exhausted I am. Hence why this vlog has been a bit nothingy, if we're being completely honest. However, it's gonna get better. <laughs> we still have another day. Don't stress. Uh, my house is a state. I, show, I told you I'd show you filming the Instagram video and it kind of just happened and I just, you know, one of them days. But this is the setup I use. It's actually like in my garage. So it looks all pretty. And then in reality, it's just in my garage. Um, yeah, needs to tidy this up because that just doesn't look very pretty, does it? I just got back from dropping Depop parcels and I may have gone to Tesco. I went to make a coffee and I had no milk, like no soy milk. Otherwise, how else am I, well, this is oat milk. How else am I supposed to make coffee? And then um, I got this. This is like the best thing ever in the world. It's the soy, what is it, the Outpro it's coffee and soy caramel, like coffee, iced coffee. It's so good. And, um, you know, sometimes instead of just spending five pounds on uh, Starbucks, you need to spend five pounds on stuff from Tesco and just make your own. And um, that's, yeah. Do you know what? Coffee is probably one of the things that I spend the most money on. Because I have a coffee machine here, which I always use, but I don't have a coffee machine in London. Starbucks from my place in London is like a 30 second walk. Like, if you blindfolded me, I could get there unharmed and blindfolded still in about a minute. So, um, yeah, I when I move, though, that won't be the case. I mean, this is a it's kind of close, but I'm taking my coffee machine and it's going to be great. So I just picked my package up from the post office and I just want to say, right, so basically, It Cosmetics put a post on Instagram, a product that I didn't even know they did. And I commented on it, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to try this. It's like a makeup kind of melt-off product, which is what I love to use to get rid of my makeup. And then I go to the post office, and it's here, it's called their Bye Bye Makeup. It's a 3-in-1 melting cleansing balm. That's that's a better description. But, oh, thank you to the girls at It Cosmetics. I'm guessing Colby sent it because their name was first on the, like, the thing that says, you know, who it's from. But... Thank you so much, because that's just so lovely of you. I was going to go out and buy it anyway. So, thank you. I'm so, so pleased. And the makeup is on. I'm so, so excited to film wearing this dress from Zara. I just live in dresses. I've been wearing my Dot Martens a ton over the last, like, the last week. And I am obsessed. Like, it's changed my outfit game, like, next level. So I'm going to show you my filming setup. I get the keys for my new place exactly a week today. So I'm kind of like, ah! but yeah, that's been on my mind, which is, I think, I'm just about to light a candle, which is why I've been a bit like scatty. However, this is what we're working with. So got my Zara clothes here. This is my setup. Yes, it's on a suitcase. I have my mic, my camera. I have one light, which is lighting up the whole background. This makes such a difference. So this is what it looks like with the light on. So like I'm sat like this and that's the background and then that's what it looks like with the light off how crazy is that makes such a difference two things that don't go well together emily cannon and being cold we have a jumper a t-shirt under a jumper the bralette under the t-shirt we then have the check shirt we have the jeans and we have the docks i am not being cold <laughs> Oh, tragic. So I'm in London, I'm just out of St. Pancras doing some work. I don't know why, because I as usual. Uh, I should have really had this conversation with a guy on the train who wants to be like a YouTuber and I'm editing and he just stopped me because I heard that I couldn't listen about this. I was like, yeah, sure. So we just chatted for the rest of the train, which was really nice. But it's like, it's so funny because we always ask such like, such questions that we would ask other people, but fair play to him. You know, good for him. Um, but yeah, I'm just sat here replying to clients on tonight's video, which is really exciting, and I'm just editing. Just, you know, 
So I just want to come and give you a bit of an explanation as to why I'm moving. Um, I feel like I said this in one of my main channel videos not too long ago, but I've never actually said it on the vlog and I've had a ton of questions. So I thought we'd kind of end this vlog off with me kind of explaining what's gonna happen like next week, cause it is next week. Um, so I obviously have my place in Northamptonshire where my family live, which is my main residence. I then have the place in London, which is like a studio, flat, it's literally a room, um, because I was always in London, I it was cheaper to get a place than get a hotel three times a week, uh, and get the train as much as I need to get the train, the train from where I live is expensive, it's ridiculous, so uh, like financially it worked out cheaper to get the place in London and live between. So I did that for six months, that was like a summer thing whilst I was busy and I realised that I still need to be in London, that's kind of what it's come down to. Like I know a ton of you watch these and it's like, and we don't really do much, um, but like I'm meetings almost every day, I'm doing events almost every day and just, you know, all my friends are in London as well. So I am moving full time back to London, well pretty much, um, as of next week. I'm moving uh, to a bigger place where I can have all my stuff and I'm going to be in London like, you know, pretty much all the time. I, you know, I think, I, I, I can only guess, I think I'll be here all the time. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, so for me, this is a very exciting time because I, London is where I love to be. It's where I feel happiest, it's where all my friends are, it's where I get everything done. Like I go, use, this vlog was so empty this week just because I was in Northamptonshire and I was like, I hate it here. Like I actually don't like it there at all. The only thing I like there is my family. <laughs> so being in London is like the best thing. I love the freedom it gives. I love that my team are here. It's just such, it's like a place where you are and you feel like anything's possible. And I, I live for that, like I need that. I don't like being like boxed in and cornered in and feeling like, I'm stuck. So that is why I'm moving. Um, I'm very excited. It is like a big thing. I know I tell you you've been asking about Cody. So the place I'm moving to, I'm renting, like don't own it and you're not allowed doggos. So for the lease, the term of the lease on this place, my mum is looking after Cody for me, which is I'm so grateful for. But this is only because there's a long term plan where, well I say long term, within a year he'll be back with me full time. So I'm so grateful that she's done that for me. And obviously she's done it because there is an end goal. It's not just, you know, look after my dog for the foreseeable future. It's, we have a plan and I'm very grateful. So yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to being settled for at least, at least a year and having all my stuff in one place. And yeah, I'm very excited. Um, and I hope you are too. I mean, I know for a lot of you, it's just a bit like, oh, she's moving again. And um, I know, not excited. It's, it's a lot of work, but yeah it's uh it's a fun time it's a new chapter which i'm very ready for so guys i hope you have enjoyed so guys i hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog it's been a bit of a bit of a not very good one if i'm being completely honest but i know you like to just see what i get up to and see my life so here we are uh next week is going to be a lot more interesting so i hope you'll stick around for that i'm moving next week so yeah i'll see you then goodbye